Do you want to jump higher? What? Vertical jump? What? Touch the sky? What? What's up, HBA fam? I got two exercises for y'all to work on bridging the gap between lifting weights and jumping higher. Now this first exercise is called a one-two depth jump. I also have a low rim, so I have something I'm trying to jump and reach. So you're gonna start on top of the box. Then you're just gonna dangle one foot off the side of the box and drop and land one, two. Notice how I'm rotating into that landing and my feet are staggered as I land. And then from there, you're just gonna try to jump as high as you can. Now this is working on transferring the energy from the drop into vertical energy and jumping. So this is important in basketball because there's a lot of times where you might be carrying a lot of speed into that jump. So you have a lot of horizontal force that you have to transfer into vertical force. Now make sure you do both sides. So you go right, left drop and a left, right drop. You can do this two to three times per week, two or three sets. Make sure you have like a minute of rest or so in between. Now this next exercise is more building up elasticity and being able to spring off the ground quicker. So now we'll try to find this box that's a little bit shorter for this one. And now we're gonna drop, land two feet at the same time, and basically pogo hop straight up as quick as you can. Now your knees will stay relatively stiff this time. There's not gonna be a big knee bend. It's about being quick off the ground. So I'm trying to jump as high as I can while also trying to jump as fast as I can. Now this exercise is really good for building that second and third jump. Think about if you're fighting for a rebound and you keep tipping it up in the air, or maybe you jump to contest the shot, land quick and jump to go get the rebound. Do three to five reps of this two to three times per week with a minute of rest in between.